Just minutes ago, we got this video that shows you what happens, how it unfolds. It was all caught on security camera. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 failed kidnapping attempts caught on camera. This surveillance video that we've been showing you since last night of the attempted kidnapping led to a tip which brought detectives to Vin Nguyen and led to his arrest. For this list, we'll be looking at the most spine-chilling recordings of botched abduction plots. Which of these shocking incidents left you the most terrified? Let us know in the comments. John Marshall Randolph. Employees at the Coeur d'Alene Parasail in Idaho foiled the attempted kidnapping of a young boy in August 2021. The boy had been approached by a man named John Marshall Randolph, who tried to take him away in one of the boats. The Parasail staff, including the owner, Jamin Rodriguez, sensed something was wrong when the frightened boy came up to them and reported that he didn't know Randolph. Immediately, the kid went around me and kind of hid behind me and stated, I don't know that man and he's not my dad. When confronted, Randolph insisted that he was the boy's father before turning around and walking away. Rodriguez quickly called the police and followed Randolph to prevent him from escaping. He's like, stop following me, leave and go back to your booth. And I was like, no. The boy was later reunited with his mother while Randolph was arrested by police and charged with child enticement. Daniel Arroyo Beltran. On March 25th, 2020, Daniel Arroyo Beltran accosted a mother and her three children at a bus stop in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Beltran snatched one of the women's children and assaulted her when she refused to give up the others. At a gas station in Las Cruces, New Mexico, a man is trying to steal a pregnant woman's children, fighting everyone who gets in his way. <laughs> she was, however, able to escape from his hold and ran into a nearby store where she hid with her kids. Beltran forced his way into the store, attacking anyone who challenged him. Things could have gone horribly if not for Kanan Bauer, a high school wrestling champ who rushed into the store and pinned Beltram down until the police arrived. It wasn't like a move that I did or practice. I just grabbed him from behind and pulled him down onto his back. Bauer was hailed as a hero and received international recognition for his efforts. Deidre Gentry. Surveillance cameras outside an auto repair shop in Sacramento, California, captured the moment that shop owner Ashraf Ali thwarted an abduction attempt. The perpetrator here, a woman named Deidre Gentry, confronted two unnamed women who were pushing a baby in a stroller and claimed that the child was hers. Frantic moments seen in the video as the alleged attacker chases after the two women walking with a baby in a stroller. The stroller breaking free from their grasp, rolling on its own toward Ali's shop as he rushes out to help. Gentry chased after the two women only for the stroller to escape their control and roll into the direction of the auto shop. Ali then got in between the attacker and the stroller, preventing her from grabbing the baby. But Ali says it left the victims rattled. They are totally scared and they are crying. So I, I say to them, please come in my office, this is my office. After police were called to the scene, they arrested Gentry and charged her with attempted kidnapping. Sonny Alloway. It's an attempt so brazen it'll send shivers down your spine. In December 2019, Sonny Alloway was filmed in a New York City train trying to talk to an unidentified woman as she slept. Around 2.45 a.m., a man dressed head to toe in red tries to get a woman's attention as she sits across from him, hood over her head. Once the train comes to a stop at the station and the doors open, Alloway grabs the woman and carries her onto a platform bench. We're not quite sure what his plan was after that, but thankfully it never materialized. The woman manages to escape and runs back into the train, alerting the man she was with, who appeared to be asleep next to her. The victim was able to regain consciousness and quickly made her way back into the train before it left the station. Alloway reportedly received a dose of street justice before he was apprehended by the authorities for unlawful imprisonment. Unidentified Argentine men. This grainy footage came from a CCTV camera in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The clip shows a boy, identified only as Sebastian, walking down a lonely street in the middle of the night. A car pulls up beside him and two men jump out and attempt to drag him into the vehicle. Sebastian wrestles with the two men and is able to free himself from their hold against all odds. The boy lets go of his backpack and runs away, foiling their abduction attempt. His would-be kidnappers get back into their car and also flee the scene. It is unclear if any arrests have been made in the case since it occurred in 2017. Vin Nguyen. Early on a Monday morning in April 2022, 
A boy was walking to his school in Orlando, Florida when he was approached by Vin Nguyen. A surveillance camera outside a restaurant captured the moment when Nguyen tried luring him into his vehicle. You see the suspect approach the child and appears to put his hands on the victim before walking out of frame. He allegedly told the child that he was cute and offered to drop him off at school. Thankfully, the boy declined his offer and continued walking. Nguyen was arrested the following day after the footage was given to the authorities. It was later discovered that he had apparently attempted to do the same to another child the previous year. And according to court records, in 2019, Wynn was arrested at a Colonial Drive sub shop for battery. Nguyen was brought up on charges of false imprisonment, luring of a child, and battery. Sammy Wallace. A routine shopping trip to the local Walmart took a horrifying turn for Alicia Keating and her two daughters. While at the Oklahoma store back in 2013, a man named Sammy Wallace grabbed one of Keating's daughters from her shopping cart and held her at knife point. A mother and her two young daughters shopping at an Oklahoma Walmart. Little did they know that man right there was about to strike. Police who responded to other shoppers' 911 call attempted negotiating with Wallace for the girl's release to no avail. After about 30 minutes of fruitless negotiations, the assailant reportedly began counting down from 60, stating that he would do the unthinkable when he reached zero. Suddenly, the suspect starts counting down from 60 seconds. Police fear they are out of time. Believing that there was no other option, one of the officers stepped up and fired a shot right at Wallace. Thankfully, the girl was unhurt. Henry Oscar Mazariegos Gonzalez. On August 16, 2019, a girl identified as Estella was walking down the street in a California neighborhood when she was accosted by Henry Oscar Mazariegos Gonzalez. The assailant grabbed Estella off the street and tried forcing her into his vehicle. Surveillance video shows early Tuesday morning, while walking down Rutland Avenue, Estella came face to face with a man in a white truck, who police say tried to kidnap her. At some point, he reportedly struck her in the head with a hammer. After briefly letting go of the weapon, the brave girl grabbed it and hit Mazariegos Gonzalez, freeing herself from his hold. I didn't have much arm swing, but I just tried to do what I could. It was enough for him to let her go, and Estella ran as fast as she could as the kidnapper got back into his white Toyota Tundra and drove off. Mazariegos Gonzalez remained on the run for nearly a year until he was apprehended by the police on April 19, 2020 in Guatemala. Unfortunately, the culprit never faced justice as he took his own life in his jail cell before he could be extradited to the U.S. Esther Daniels 26-year-old Esther Daniels was arrested and charged with kidnapping and obstruction of a police officer on June 22, 2019. Daniels had engaged in a tussle with a married couple at the Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport in Atlanta, Georgia, after attempting to abduct their children. And you can see the family at the top of your screen there, folks. A woman in a pink hat walks up and appears to struggle with her parents, yanking on the stroller. CCTV footage from the airport showed Daniels walk up to the woman and try to grab a stroller with one of her children in it. After the woman manages to fight her off, she reaches for another child but is interrupted by the father. Daniels tries to make a run for it, but she's taken down by a group of officers who later put her in handcuffs and led her away. And police showed up on the scene and arrested the woman. Officers say that the woman appeared to be experiencing mental distress. Terry Ransom. This terrifying incident happened so fast, if you blink, you'd probably miss it. On July 1, 2016, a mother walked into a cell phone store in Victorville, California with her two daughters. While she held her infant in her arms, her older daughter played by the candy machine right next to the entrance. The little girl began playing with a candy machine in a California cell phone store when the man appeared to snatch her. Then, in a flash, a hand reached through the door and snatched the girl out of the store. That hand belonged to 24-year-old Terry Ransom. Luckily, Ransom lost his grip on the child and she was able to escape right into her mother's arms. The would-be abductor was chased down by bystanders who held him until police arrived. He was charged with kidnapping and child cruelty. The suspect, Terry Random, was then tackled and held by people until police arrived. He was arrested on suspicion of trying to abduct the girl. Craig Bonello. For a preteen Florida girl and her mother, this was probably the most terrifying 15 seconds of their entire lives. A brazen kidnapping attack thwarted by a fierce mother all caught on tape. The whole scene playing out in a Dollar General store Tuesday morning. While shopping at a Dollar General store on June 7, 2016, a man identified as Craig Bonello grabbed the girl by her arm and violently dragged her away. Without missing a beat, 
The girl's mother sprung into action, fighting off Bonello as he tugged her daughter through the supermarket's aisles, all in full view of surveillance cameras. Her mother doesn't miss a beat. This mom, Ashley Harper, knows exactly what that woman was thinking. There wouldn't have been, I mean, any doubt I would have thrown myself on anybody, you know, and now I guess I have to be prepared to do that. Bonello eventually let go and tried to make a run for it, but he was blocked by an off-duty sheriff's deputy and arrested. Eventually, the man letting go, fleeing the store, only to be met in the parking lot by an off-duty officer. Who was off-duty, had... Uh, pulled into the parking lot uh, just by chance. He was brought up on charges of kidnapping and child abuse, but was found not guilty by reason of insanity. Nassim Slamang. In September 2020, a video went viral on social media showing the attempted abduction of a child at a restaurant in Johannesburg, South Africa. In the clip, two women are seen sitting together with a young girl at the Bella Napoli Italian kitchen. We were sitting outside and there were other customers here. There was a lady with her two kids. And uh, I noticed that there was a guy running. All of a sudden, 24-year-old Nassim Slamong jumps over the railing and lunges toward the child. Slamong's brazen attempt to abduct the young girl in broad daylight was, however, cut short by the restaurant's owner, Dishal Suku. I don't consider myself a hero. People say you're at the right place at the, the right moment. And it all comes with preparation. And I think uh, the years of experience in martial arts is what allowed me to react the way that I did. Suku, a trained martial artist, immediately tackled the culprit to the floor, placing him in a chokehold while one of the women secured the girl. Slamang was swiftly arrested by police and charged with multiple counts of assault and attempted kidnapping. The court has heard the suspect has an outstanding warrant of arrest and a string of previous convictions. Timothy Todd Milner. The tremendous efforts of a gas station cashier and customer made the difference between life and death for a woman in Coweta County, Georgia. Deputies call it courageous, the quick actions of this store clerk and a customer at a convenience store off Interstate 85 in Coweta County last Friday. Surveillance footage from the convenience store showed the woman and a man, later identified as Timothy Todd Milner, walk up to the counter. Deputies say she asked the store clerk for a telephone in an attempt to call for help. The woman was reported to have quietly asked the cashier for a phone, but after being handed one, Milner grabbed it from her and threw it on the counter. He then dragged her out of the building and into his truck parked outside. Noticing the ordeal, a stranger quickly took a picture of Milner's license plate, which aided in police locating him. Very brave, very courageous, very helpful. Um, they could have gone about their day and this lady would have been somewhere she didn't want to be with someone she didn't want to be with. Upon his arrest, Milner was charged with kidnapping, false imprisonment, and battery. Nathaniel Rodriguez. Most of us do not know how we would react if we ever came face to face with a dangerous criminal. But Philadelphia convenience store clerk Manveer Comer knew exactly what to do in that situation. At first glance, you might not realize anything's wrong here, but this is an alleged crime in progress. While working the overnight shift on November 11th, 2015, Comer stopped the apparent abduction of a doctor by a supposedly armed criminal named Nathaniel Rodriguez. Rodriguez allegedly kidnapped the lady and was attempting to withdraw money using her debit card. He forced her to withdraw money from ATMs around town. Watch as they pull into this gas station and walk into the convenience store. The suspect gives a friendly wave to the clerk before they go to the ATM. Footage from the store's cameras showed Comer leaving the counter and confronting Rodriguez just as the two are about to exit. The suspect then fled the scene in the victim's car, but was later tracked down and arrested after making use of her phone. The clerk confronts the suspect, who you see reaches to his jacket as if he has a weapon. The suspect then flees in the woman's car. Back inside, the clerk gives the woman a bottle of water. She's shaken but unharmed. Santiago Salcedo. On October 11th, 2021, a woman was walking by a gas station in the Bronx with her three grandchildren when a man approached them. The uh, attempted abduction was captured on surveillance video, which police used to track down the suspects. Partially covered in a blanket, the man suddenly grabbed one of the toddlers and took to his heels. Initially torn between the captured girl and the other two boys left with her, the grandmother eventually chased after the abductor. Her grandmother panicking and screaming for help while chasing him as the girl's younger brother stand by, terrified. Other bystanders joined in, and they soon cornered the man, later identified as Santiago Salcedo, and he lets go of the child. After riding away on a scooter, police later caught up with Salcedo, who was reported to be homeless, and arrested him.
He was arraigned on charges of attempted kidnapping and unlawful imprisonment. There were literally a couple of people who chased a guy and who helped us with the police and everybody. So I would like to take them. And this Bronx mother says that there is not enough thanks in the world that she can show this group of Good Samaritans. Thomas Woods. George Ann Baxter was at a Walmart in Bremen, Georgia, with her daughter Brittany, when her worst nightmare nearly became a reality. And the video is stunning. A little girl fighting a grown man, allegedly trying to kidnap her. Brittany was playing in the toy section by herself when she was grabbed by 25-year-old Thomas Woods. And then he just dropped me and went and ran off. Woods, who had just been released on parole after serving prison time for manslaughter, was captured by surveillance cameras getting into his car and driving away. Police were able to use this footage to track him to his house, where he was arrested in less than an hour. Police arrested 25-year-old Thomas Woods, who was recently released from state prison, out on parole for manslaughter. Although he denied even being at the store, Woods was charged with attempted kidnapping. James McGonigal. It's always particularly shocking when an attempted child abduction not only occurs in broad daylight, but also right in front of their parents. It's quick and say, oh my God, my kids, please. That was the case of Jacob Diaz, who was walking down a Queen street with his mom, Dolores Diaz Lopez, and two siblings. Diaz was slightly ahead of the rest when a man jumped out of a parked car and snatched him just a few feet away from Lopez. Dolores Diaz says the men said nothing to her and she doesn't know them. The quick thinking mom and her other kids immediately ran after the man, 24 year old James McConical, and successfully retrieved Diaz through the front passenger window. McConical was able to flee the scene in his car, but he was later arrested by police on charges including attempted kidnapping and reckless endangerment. One of them, the driver, has been arrested and was taken to the hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. The other, the passenger, is still outstanding, and police believe the two may be father and son. Manual Towns. It looked like something out of a Hollywood action movie. 25-year-old Brittany Diggs had already been abducted at gunpoint by Manuel Towns, who had repeatedly threatened to kill her. He was like, well, since you don't have any money, um, you're going to help me get money. Towns forced her into the trunk of her car and drove around in hopes of using her debit card to take out cash. This led him to a gas station in Birmingham, where he seemed to have withdrawn money from the convenience store ATM. Brittany says panic was setting in. My biggest fear was he was going to drive this car into a river. I'm going to drown here and nobody's going to know I'm in this trunk. As Towns returned to the car and slowly pulled out of the parking lot, Diggs popped the trunk using the interior latch and bolted into the store. The Alabama nursing student made it to safety and her captor was arrested by police about a week later. A jury convicts Manuel Towns of several charges, including kidnapping, robbery, and two counts of fraudulent use of a credit card. Derek McPherson. The doorbell camera at the Nash family house in Ohio captured the attempted abduction of one of their daughters in 2022. So proud of her. So proud of her because as soon as she screamed, he let go. So obviously, you know, it does work. Kennedy Nash was taking out the trash when a man, identified as Derek McPherson, approached her and grabbed her by the arm. The young girl let out a piercing scream, prompting McPherson to release her and quickly walk past. The whole encounter lasting less than 10 seconds. As Kennedy pulled away and screamed, the man quickly letting go. Kennedy rushed back into the house and relayed the incident to her dad, Ricky, who got in his car and chased down the culprit. He was later taken in by authorities and brought up on charges of abduction and inappropriate grabbing. Ricky's swift chase may have secured McPherson's capture, but it was Kennedy's quick thinking that prevented the tragedy altogether. McPherson appeared in a Butler County courtroom where he has been indicted on two counts of abduction and unlawful restraint. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Jared Paul Stanga. This terrifying footage from a street surveillance camera in Florida showed the exact moment young Allison Banal was nearly abducted. This shocking video has been played thousands of times across the country. Banal was waiting at a bus stop on the morning of May 18th, 2021, when a white minivan parked just beside her. The driver of the vehicle, Jared Paul Stanga, was captured running toward Banal and grabbing her as she attempted to scurry away. She fought and she fought and she fought. 
until finally she was able to break free. Stanga, who was reportedly wielding a knife, was unsuccessful as Banal fought tooth and nail to regain her freedom. According to the young girl, she was inspired by Law & Order SVU to rub the blue slime she had been playing with on Stanga's arms. She was playing with blue slime when he grabbed her and she made sure to wipe some of it on him. That trick gave investigators just the evidence they needed. This helped police to definitely identify him as the culprit upon his eventual arrest.